Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Today we're going to cover Uncanny Avengers issues 18 to 23, written by Jerry Dugan. Did a pretty good job. It's maybe a little too Deadpool centric this um, this particular time of Uncanny Avengers, but I really liked the whole concept of fusing a team with Avengers and X Men members. Uh, we have this. Particular incarnation of Red Skull that's uber powerful. He has actually part of Charles Xavier's mind implanted into him, so he's crazy powerful. So he's been the he's been the big bad during most of the series of the Uncanny Avengers. So now he's making this big move. He's gonna try to take down the Avengers once and for all. He's actually taken over the Avengers mansion that has become this really weird thematic hotel where everyone goes cosplaying there. So he's taking down the Avengers one by one. Like the lineup is, is sort of cool. We have Quicksilver, that's not a mutant anymore. I really hate that story arc. Then he's not Magneto's kid. I don't know what's the situation now. If they if they retcon the retcon, brother Voodoo is on the team. Human Torch, sort of weird to see him off the Fantastic Four. Uh, Synapse or Synopsis, something like that. He's an Inhuman. Don't find I never found it too interesting. Cable oddly is on the team. He's sort of I. Don't like him on the Avengers for some reason. Wasp is on the lineup. But the thing is, Red Skull is taking them down one by one. He's using Quicksilver. And he has a real time, like he's he's taking each Avenger down, but he can't mind control Deadpool. So obviously Deadpool is going to be like the central hero of the story. He's going to be the one fighting against and trying to take down crazy powerful red skull so deadpool's on the run he actually seeks help from wong and uh, teams up with spider-man also red skull goes toe-to-toe -to -toe against cable who obviously is a very powerful telepath but cable's no match for xavier's mind and cable sort of commits like um telepathic suicide he just because he can't let red skull see what happens in the future or have any of the information that's in his head so, he turns off his brain. I'm not sure how he comes back. Then I think he had uploaded his mind into his arm or something like that. So, Deadpool finds help with Wong, teams up with Spider-Man to fight against the brainwashed Avengers. The story is pretty compelling, but during this time, and I love Jerry, Jerry Dugan's work on Deadpool, is that Deadpool was on way too many titles. So it's like uh, during when this came out, I was like suffering with some Deadpool burnout. <laughs> and, but Deadpool uses his smarts. He finds Magneto's helmet. He's, he throws it on Rogue. Almost gets killed in, in, in doing this. Obviously, Deadpool's almost, he's pretty much unkillable, but it's like very, very tinted that he's almost like built beaten down completely to a pulp but rogue gets xavier's helmet red skull realizes he's in a real pickle so they're able to take down red skull knock him down sort of the cool thing that happens afterwards is that instead they take red skull to justice they remove uh xavier's part of uh from his brain we're dealing with hydra cap now he wants the brain He's sort of had already had a falling out with Rogue. That's why he's not on the team anymore. They want Xavier's brain. And so Rogue just wants to li let his mentor live, rest in peace. He, she is totally not willing to give Xavier's brain to him. So she flies, bursts through a wall with Human Torch. They burn whatever's left of Xavier's mind. No idea how they brought Xavier back after this. But I always felt that Xavier should have stayed dead. But it was sort of cool. I re I'm really enjoying Hickman's run on on the X Men and uh, the the way they're using Xavier and stuff like that. But Xavier again feels like he sort of run his course as a character, and he should have stayed dead up until at least up until Hickman's run. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Uncanny Avengers. I'm gonna put the the numbers of the issues below in the description. So see you guys next time. Bye.